services levy in Montgomery County. Today, Dayton Right to Life rebuffed reports suggesting its members are campaigning against that levy, which funds Planned Parenthood. Also, a big show of support for the levy from key community leaders. Pam Elliott on your side tonight to break down the dollars and cents of Issue 9. I want to call on some of my colleagues. Reverend Kennedy, are there people here to vote? Yeah. Yes. Members of the group Lift Greater Dayton showed their support of the human services levy by lifting their pledge cards, cards indicating they would vote to pass Issue 9. The coalition is made up of churches, synagogues, schools, and community organizations. We are diverse, but we are united, and because we are united, we believe that our joined power can influence Greater Dayton for the better, as an example, getting this levy passed. The levy would generate an additional $4.5 million for services that help people with the most critical needs in Montgomery County, those who work at Jurgen Center, for example. The human service levy support many of our social agencies in this city, and if it does not pass, many of the social agencies will not be able to do what they have been doing in the, in the years past in helping all of the citizens of our area. If Issue 9 passes, it's estimated the levy would cost the owner of a $100,000 home an additional $16 a year. And we're here to support the most vulnerable people in our community, our frail elderly, our abused and abandoned children. Leaders of Lift Greater Dayton actually came together four years ago to push for jobs. Now they're speaking up for those who might not otherwise have a voice. It is crucial that we support this levy because it will define who we are as a community and how strong we are as a community. Leaders of Lyft want people to start voting now for Issue 9. If the replacement levy fails, Montgomery County stands to lose more than $60 million for human services. Pam Elliott, 2 News on your side.